So basically, there's a lot of exit lag settings that people recommend you that are just too wild and downright wrong. And today, I'm gonna show you the right settings. I'm gonna show you how to make exit lag feel amazing. It's gonna feel so amazing that you might even consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video. All right, so first things first, you gotta download the application. So once the app is downloaded, go ahead and put it on your desktop and then open it up. Of course, you're gonna have to sign in. So go ahead and sign in to your exit lag account. Once you're logged in, it's gonna analyze the routes and everything, but then you'll be met with a screen like this. The first thing we wanna do, of course, is turn exit lag on if it's off by default. Then we're gonna add our game. You can see I have a couple games added here already but I'm just going to add Fortnite for reference. So just type in here, Fortnite or whatever game you're going to play with exit lag on and then simply click on it. It's going to analyze the routes automatically. So just let it do its thing. Once it's done, it'll select server. Obviously you should know what server you're playing on. So just select your server if it didn't choose the right one. The next thing we're going to want to do is click advanced settings. Make sure use local routes first is checked. In very rare instances, you can get better results with this unchecked, but for 99% of you, just keep this checked. UDP routes, we wanna make sure this is set to two, and TCP routes, we really wanna make sure this is set to zero. So once you're done with that, just click apply routes so that saves. You can turn off the connection for now while we continue to make some more optimizations. So the next thing we're gonna wanna do is go to PC Boost, because I know a lot of people are gonna ask about this. A lot of the things in here are actually okay to do. You can see some of them are automatically on. However, if you're on my custom OS or followed my optimizations, these things are already done for you. But if you don't really follow optimization guides and you're just on a stock windows, then turning these on definitely can help. I wouldn't recommend using the ultimate power plan. Just use my power plan and significantly better. They also have a RAM cleaner in here. I wouldn't really recommend using this either. For whatever reason you do need to clean your RAM, I'd recommend just rebooting the computer. Otherwise, this stuff is mostly just preference. I'm not gonna touch it. The next thing we're gonna wanna do is go to general settings here on the left. Start automatic with Windows. This is another thing that's just preference for you guys. Do you want exit lag to start up when your computer starts up? I personally don't. I would recommend having it activate when starting exit lag. Of course, if you're opening up exit lag, then you more than likely want to use it. So we do want to make sure that's on. Minimize exit lag to try on close. I'm going to do that. That way when I close it, exit lag will still stay open and running. And that way I don't have to minimize it and have it actually open down here. I can just have it minimized to this tray. So it's a little easier. This display notification when an application is connected via exit lag. I don't like that. I don't want it bugging me. So I'm going to disable that. So this hotkey says settings. Again, I would just keep that disabled. I personally don't want exit lag messing with any tweaks I've done to my system because what I'm on is the best of the best. I don't trust whatever exit lag is doing. So moving on, shortcut to stop all connections. I would turn this off. Hardware data monitoring, you really want this off. Scrolling down, you can see accuracy and route optimization. Make sure this is on high, super important. This protocol for route analysis one, just leave both of those on automatic. Real-time optimization, smart optimization, all this other stuff, all these need to be on for best performance. And then the package redirection method, you really want to make sure this is on NDIS. The WFP one is really bad. But guys, once you're done with that, you're good. You can go back to home, turn on the game you want to use exit lag for, and then just launch up the game and play. If you guys have any issues or questions, leave a comment down below. Also leave a comment on what you want to see next. If this video did help you, leave a like on the video. It really does help a lot. Subscribe to the channel for more optimization videos like this. And be sure to check out my other videos as well. I have a lot of videos posted with in-depth optimization optimizations for you guys. If you guys want me to take care of everything for you, book an optimization on my website, signs.net, where I take care of windows, bios, drivers, keyboard and mouse optimizations, everything head to toe. I can even set up exit lag for you guys. But other than that though, guys, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.